Baby sweet. Hey, hey. Baby shoulder. Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> Baby goes my bed. <laughs> What's up, guys? You know, here at home, they know me as Ufenza Boloi, but you guys know me as Primo, aka Primo19, aka Brown to Man, aka Danki Baba. And welcome in the day in my life. I don't think I was led into entertainment. I've always just been an entertainer. You know, I used to dance for the neighbors, you know, and with that, I took that to school. I used to make the school plays. I did debating, I did public speaking. I was a dancer. I did all these things that were just within the entertainment sphere. So I think when the internet came about, I just got that platform to be that same kid who I was. But now for adults and kids and everybody on a mass kind of level, from my room. With the skills of his soccer legend of a dad, Lucas Khadere, Primo's PSL ambitions were cut short by injury. TikTok allowed him to show off his talents in another field. Go on. Yes. Yeah. You mm. can't do born. Shame, my friend. Whoa, nah. Uh, I see. Shame, King. No more effort. No more effort. No more effort. Shame. <laughs> Yeah, I did push him, just to push him a little bit because I think he had the qualities to be to be a good footballer. He inherited the height, <laughs> he inherited the number. So you know what? The hard thing was to to follow the act. How do how do I inherit but, the height no, no, if no. I'm taller? Bo, bo, no, no, bo. no. Yeah, no. You, you, if if he, I was gonna be worried if we were shorter. <laughs> but he was good. He was he was brilliant. I think he had a better chance to play. Not even here at home, but possibly internationally. Yeah, height, because height, height was going to help. Yeah. yeah, that was going to help a lot. Help a lot. And that would have been great because then, you know, where you keep up the trend. Yeah, but you see, now Kitchen is a trend. I'm not a, I'm not a follower of trends. I'm a trend set. You're a trend set, which is ah. great. Which is, which is <laughs> When I know so it's a trend, yeah, because so it's on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Technology plays a big role now. You know, technology is absolutely brilliant. As your generation, there's a chance for you guys to make it ours. Yeah. I get a lot of uh, uh, positivity, you know, uh, in the community, which is nice. <sighs> is that Primo, is that your son? Mm. I'm like, uh, <laughs> now, you know, now you know how I felt with Primo my some... whole life. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, at least they, they know who it was, uh, you know. Ufuti is the son of it. is you don't kill a character, can you? But when I am a better actor than me, you see, okay, which is your actor, okay. uh, generations. <laughs> <laughs> I think I felt the pressures of being the chief son. You sure? Yeah, when more. You were, yeah, when you were, yeah, more. when you were into football. Yeah, more when I was younger, when I was playing, when everyone hey, is that your father? When you come picking up, <laughs> hey, then. Uh, it was pressure. That's why I didn't want to tell anyone because now I have to have this conversation. But I think getting older, I just got used to it. I got used to working it better, you know, fitting it into my personality, learning from it, not just being around it. The pressure was more when I was playing, but now it's not pressure anymore. The most important things my parents have showed me, my dad showed me humility in greatness, you know, because I've been watching him my whole life be this giant of a man who's very kind and calm to people. So I, I got a lot of lessons of humility from there, a lot of lessons of discipline. And then from my mom, I, I definitely learned my expression and my strength and my resilience. She's always so free to express herself and encourages us to express ourselves. So that strength kind of just built this guy who can do whatever he wants in front of a camera and say and look however he wants and still be okay with it. But yeah, I think then the combination of those two plus all the football lessons I learned made me a TikTok player. Mr. Baloy has become a football agent, talent developer and director of little sister Zeniti Khadebe's performance skills. I like the way 
one that he throws me in the air only one time and I act like I'm sad because it's fun. Or live the videos with me are fun. Even with anyone else, it's fun. <laughs> you like taking the videos, ne? You're an actress. You must tell them that you, you can act, ne? Show them how to be sad, sure. And then how are you happy? <laughs> I admire his profession now that uh, he puts a lot of effort, you know, uh, and I think he's passionate about it because he makes time to make those videos and people can resonate with what he does, which is, which is brilliant. It makes me laugh. TikTok has been Primo's bridge into entertainment and being respected by comedians. TikTok is not as easy as people think, especially to conceptualize something that people are going to relate to and laugh at and that's relevant to the times or whatever the case. So it's a lot of pre-planning. That's most of the process is, and you know, I, I think I'll take maybe two, three days to think about the sound. There's a lot of timing, comedic timing. There's a lot of preparation and the visualization. I visualize the TikTok about a hundred times more in my head before I actually make it. And then, menjik, 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 bah. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the one, that's the one. It's important for parents to support their kids, being here with them and support what they do. I think for me it's great. I'm taking the time off to get a great video or to capture what they need. It's, it's very, very uh, crucial. In a tight knit family, Lucas Khadebe Jr. shares some, if not all, of his brother Primo's passions. We drove to the middle of nothing. We're in, I think, Delmas at the Red Star racetrack, and we're about to. Test ourselves. You, you test yourselves. You know how to drive again. Yeah. Not your slow car. <laughs> you gotta drive fast. <laughs> I do this for you. You gonna drive. Oh, I can't tell you how excited I am to do this thing. Ooh. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to Red Star Raceway. My name is Christo. Primo, nice to meet you, Christo. Nice to meet you, and Junior. Hello, Junior. First things first. Have you got any experience? Yeah. Have you, mm. So you've been on track before. Love the track. Actually, it's one of my favorite things to do. Why? Um, I don't know, I feel so free. Going fast and having that much control at a high speed, it's, it's so exhilarating. You're definitely driving and you said you don't uh, want yeah. to drive. I'm, I'm okay in the Let's, let's try it out. Okay. Please. You be the one driving. Please, I want you to learn. I want you to come out here driving. All right. Come on, man, let's right. learn. No, do it. No, no, no. <laughs> You're good at yeah. You're good at Right, so now as far as the car is concerned, it's built for the track, so your safety is 100% taken care of. The one thing that will take a little bit of getting used to is we've got the, the racing clutch inside here. Okay. So when you pull off, it's got a very small friction point. Sure. So you need to just ride it a touch to get it going. And then once you're going, off the clutch. Got it. <laughs> you didn't stop. I'm almost disappointed. <laughs> All right, so let's go for a drive. Don't think of it as being on a track. We're just driving on the road. Turn it to the right. And keep your hands. We're just over 4.2 k's long and 13 corners. However, the challenge here, even though we've got less corners than Kyle Army does, it's relatively flat mm. and it's quite hard to figure out where you are on the track. So what I do at Red Star is I focus more on techniques that would also work on public roads. Yeah. Looking very far ahead, oh, trying okay. to judge your corner entry speed. Watching all this from the stands is not Mr. Beloy's style. That doesn't grow all day. Ever. On track, just be really smooth when you come off touch. Don't dump it. Because okay. then it seems to stick almost a little bit. When I started driving, obviously I had to learn the track, but at the same time it felt like I'm learning the car, you know, because I've never been in a 350Z. This one is designed for the track, so I had to kind of learn 
to be confident behind that thing. Oh, I know I threw back the tires and drifted a little bit when I shouldn't have. Whoa, whoa, who you thought a TikToker would know about drifting and throwing the tires back, eh? And then um, after I sorted that understeer, it started coming out and I could kill those corners now and I started going faster. I wish we could go on a lap, me and you. Yeah. So and I, I could see, you. you were learning, Venice. Yeah. yeah. It felt so good. Sure. But I also felt it, you know, the more you drive thing, the more comfortable you get on the wheel. So that is what I enjoyed more, is that I could get more confident on the wheel, you yeah. see. Yeah. Did you go as fast as you wanted to? Yeah, I did. I did, actually. Because yeah. you were smacking the street. <laughs> I wouldn't mind coming back here, you. Yeah? yeah it's a nice experience. And just like that, we're done for the day. I don't want to leave this track. I don't want you guys to leave me. But thank you guys for having me. Thank you guys for chilling with me. You know what it's been inside the SA. Now, I actually have a video to make, so check you guys.